You're with the shell trainer in Flagler Beach. Tides have been high, so the shelling's kind of sucked. I haven't really even tried. Check this out. Little sand dollars in the grass there, right? But it's a pretty nice shell shop, but what I'm shocked at is check out this boat. And it's for 39 cents a piece, and you guys will be like, why didn't you buy $100,000 worth of shells? But look at the mixture of stuff in here. Okay, we're going to go close. And you guys can spot probably as much or more stuff than me. But I'm looking here like, he's broke. It's a good size crown, though. Um, I'm looking through here. It's just interesting. Of course, now you got your uh, knob whelk. You know that because it's right-handed. Compared to, say, like a, a lightning whelk. Right? That'd be left-handed. That was a good tutorial right there between your two welts. But anyways, I'm looking over here. Look at this. I'm going to say that's probably a giant Easter Murex. Pretty tight. You look over a little bit more, and this almost looks like the uh, the Indies version. But anyways, that's a uh, fighting conk. Right? Just looking through, man. This is pretty, pretty nifty. Uh, look at that. A tulip. Didn't this drive you wild? There's another knob sitting right in the middle of the picture right there. What else we got in here? Some neat stuff. Looks like some uh, more Caribbean type stuff perhaps. But of course now you noticed there's a lot of the uh, juvie queen conks mixed up in here I would guess. Also known as, uh, I think they call those rollers when they're that small. Oh, look at that. But yeah, isn't that crazy? It's a boat full of shells. We'll walk around. This, this is just exciting. This is a good video right here. Pardon my cold. I'm not feeling top notch, but I'm actually uh, feeling a little bit better now that I'm seeing some of this stuff. We'll look around. There you go. Look at that. See the tip on that? A little different? And that's a channeled walk, right? Just super cool. Notice the, uh, the knobs when they're in good shape actually have lines on them, right? So I could take some of these bad boys home and probably will. And clean them up, right? I'm digging these Murexes, though. They've got some nice Murexes in here. 39 cents a pop. So if you're ever driving in Flagler, now you guys have probably noticed, look at all the, the bivalves. I'm not a bivalve guy, but we'll just do some up close real fast. This is actually pretty, pretty design. Man, that's quality video right there. Oh, yeah. Jose Gaspar's Treasure Company. Shells and Gifts. Right off Flagler Beach. You can just park right over there on Beachside if you wanted to. You've been one-on-one -on -one with a shell train. Peace.